Good morning everyone, welcome to our pre-market podcast where we are going to the big US tech uh, names and uh, the big US names that I have on the watch list and um, today is um, a big day for one of uh, those names, uh, it's uh, Tesla uh, battery day and uh, I will start exactly from there trying to uh, make my uh, uh, analysis based on the price and what we see um, not able to uh, predict what the hell is going to happen after the event and how the stock market will react but uh, uh, trying to give you the the, the trading plan um, uh, for uh, Tesla so Tesla has been basically on a, 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 a tier right now with a big move uh, even after the 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 stock split the um, made the last couple of sessions a big big bounce uh, from 330 dollars area uh, so the stock considering this uh, uh, split price is coming from all the way from 70 dollars um, uh, this year of tweet di at uh, uh, more than 500 dollars so big big move and um, now where we stand uh, the stock um, um, has been very very act active and uh, on every on every uh, pullback uh, uh, into the 8 and 21 day moving average we have been seeing buyers getting very active last time last time let's see here last time uh, on um, uh, july and august uh, the stock pulled back into the 8 and 21 day moving average uh, and uh, boom back up uh, breaking out and a big move from $300 all the way into $500 area and um, this time it pulled back the last couple of sessions into the two weeks ago into the 50 day moving average boom recovered the 8 and 21 day moving average yesterday pulled back into the 21 day moving average at uh, uh, 408 my line in the sand it 407 and bounced so what does this mean uh, it means that the uh, short-term traders are very active and on every single bear uh, attempt uh, bull step in and start buying the dip one of the factors that i'm seeing right now is that tesla is long gamma what does this mean it means that they short the rip and buy the dip that's what we have been uh, seeing so on every rip higher they have been shorting the, the rip and uh, but on the pullbacks they have been buying the dips so yesterday once again they they bought the dip okay uh, but we need for the bull case we need to break some of the uh, key levels we need to break 462 okay so bull case scenario it's above 462 above 462 i believe uh, it will go for new all-time highs in my opinion taking out 502 but uh, once again first we need 462 uh, for the bear case we need below 407 uh, 407 it's the yesterday lies uh, um, yesterday uh, uh, lows so four hundred dollars it was the breakout point okay it was my breakout point uh, um, last week if we break below four hundred dollars the momentum will be lost and i will have um uh, the next big level at 358 that's 50 day moving average below that 330 dollars is the possible next support but once again we need to see it we need below 407 yesterday lows and we need below 400 dollars so right now we are in the middle of nowhere but it's very difficult in my opinion to uh, have a, a bear case scenario here uh, at least on the long term while we are above the 8 and 21 day moving average and while they have been buying every single pullback they have been buying it's impossible to predict what the hell is happening to the stock after the event but um, 
uh, if you are long uh, you keep raising your stop stream profits on the way up. In my opinion, I will be looking to have possible longs if the stock breaks above 462 all the way into uh, uh, $500 and making new all-time highs. Once again, they are long uh, gamma, means that they will buy the dips and sell the rips. So uh, if the stock pullbacks below $400, you can scalp uh, but it's a scalp, okay? Below $400, it's a scalp, in my opinion, uh, um, into the 50-day moving average at 358 $330. And I will be looking if it breaks below that and if it sees some selling pressure after the event, I'll be looking to uh, buy the dip once again. So, a summary. Uh, the stock right now is pretty much bullish on, on um, uh, uh, each pullback being bought. Bull case scenario only above 462, breaks above 462 looking for longs, breaks below $400 looking for shorts, okay? All the way uh, into the next key levels uh, of support, okay? That's the action plan. But we have some more names on watch. Uh, AMD, for example, yesterday, nice bounce from $73 area. So 73.9 is the level from this big gap that you are seeing right now. And yesterday, Friday they bounced, yesterday they bounced once again. So they are defending and they are buying 73.9 is the level. But now what? We are still below the 8 and 21 day moving average. We need above um, uh, 79, we need be above $80 to trigger the bull run. Um, I, you know that um, uh, AMD, it's one of those names that I love. Uh, I like it very much and um, I believe that it's one of those stocks that um, uh, next year should go into triple digits back into $100. But once again, we need to see it. So if you are long from yesterday, keep playing versus 73.9, that's your stop. And looking to have uh, new longs above $80 for a possible move all the way into new all-time highs. So keep it uh, on your watch. Boeing, um, um, uh, yesterday also see some selling pressure. But uh, why I'm bringing this stock? This stock seems broken, but this stock has been seeing some buyers around um, $154, $155. Uh, dollars there. So yesterday we hit 154. We have a, uh, an open gap to get filled above. So I'm looking for a possible uh, short term bounce here on Boeing. Big level 153, 156. Uh, big level of support. Uh, looking for a possible bounce. As targets, we have 162, we have 166, we have $170 as possible uh, resistance levels and um, uh, from there we can fade once again. When I'll be extremely bearish, if we break below 153, okay, if the stock breaks below 153, I'll be extremely bearish for a possible big correction on Boeing. But once again, we need to see it right now, looking for a possible short term bounce. Uh, big commerce yesterday um, I got some shares and I locked very nice profits in today and um, uh, trying to catch the knife this time it was catching the knife is very 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 risky when we have such a big correction as we saw here uh, it's very risky to try to see where the bulls will step in and buy the dip uh, I, I bought the dip yesterday with some shares I already locked my profits it was a very beautiful one and um, what was the rationale trying to uh, print a bullish reversal candle and it printed very well printing a higher lows so right now the stock printing higher lows what we need needs above $82 to try a break above 85 I will only be very bullish on the stock above $85 then I'll be looking for a move back into $100 area but if you got long yesterday with me and um, you keep playing after the market open trim one third of the position raise the stops on the rest and uh, your uh, last support level around $70. So uh, if it breaks below $70, then bad things can happen. But once again, we need to see it yesterday. Day one off on the bounce. Let's see if today we get, uh, get a day two. We have an open gap to fill at um, um, $80 area. So the bounce can take us all the way into $80. 81 is the 8 day moving average. 85, the next big level. So keep it on your watch. 
One of the stocks that I had to do watch also is Bill. Why? Bill is one of those names that um, uh, saw lots of bullish options activity in the past. It was a momentum, it was a fast runner also. And yesterday it bounced perfectly from one of the support lines that I have around 81, 82 dollars. Also on the past 81, 82 dollars were levels that saw very nice big buying pressure. Uh, what I'm looking for a possible break above $90. If it breaks above $90, I'll be extremely bullish on the stock for a possible move back above $100. So keep Bill on your watch list. Salesforce, also another one that I had to the watch list. Why? Yesterday, perfectly bounced from uh, 236 and um, uh, printed a bullish reversal candle. We have an open gap to fill at um, uh, $250. So uh, above 245, we can go all the way into $250 to fill the gap. When I'll be bullish, I'll be extremely bullish if the stock breaks above 255 for a resume backup. So keep Salesforce on your watch list. Another one yesterday gave you this one, uh, CrowdStrike tell, told you that um, I, will, I would be looking for a possible uh, move higher, 134 was the trigger, so it bounced perfectly from 21 day moving average, breaking above 134, closed near the ice, uh, uh, 138, so $4 here profit on this one. Now what? Now you trim profits on the way up, you trim profits, you trim after the market open one third of the position, raise the stops on the rest, from 134 you can cap your profits and your profits are secured. Keep riding the momentum while it lasts, okay? So congratulations on the trade. Another one that I gave you yesterday was Itzy, okay? It's calling for a possible bounce from this uh, double bottom at 103, 104. It's working very well, they went to three. Now what? Now we need a break above 118, okay? Next level, 118. Breaks above 118, looking for a possible big move all the way into 118. $30 area. So keep it on your watch. Big volume uh, on Friday. Nice follow through. Needs above 118 to trigger the next leg up. Uh, firstly, uh, yesterday I got some calls right after the market opened. Um, I saw some bullish options activity on the name. It was one of the names that I, ha I had on the watch list for a break above $88. Break above $88, it's the eye um, uh, above $92. So very nice profits on the way up. I closed the trade um, uh, very... Uh, uh, early in the morning, but I lock for a very nice cash flow. I trade for a living, so I'm looking for cash flow. I'm not looking for merry with trades or uh, something else. So when I play with options, I like to trade, uh, try to generate cash flow in trade. That's what I'm looking. And uh, but if you are long on the stock above eighty-eight dollars, you have um, six dollars cap okay uh, uh, sorry you have four dollars four dollars cap with profit so you trim one third of the position after the market open raise the stops on the rest first next big level around 99 dollars above that we have a big gap to fill all the way into um 107 so that can be a level to watch so congratulations on the trade and keep trimming your profits on the way up and grow generation grwg yesterday tried to break but it failed needs a close above 16.7 above that the target is 20 dollars so keep it on your watch staying long versus 15 dollars area and um, uh, possible upside ahead inu yesterday also tried to break didn't break Look, it looks coiling for a possible break higher, needs above 18.6. Above that, looking for a move all the way to $20 area, as a gap to fill at 24, so keep it uh, on your watch. JD, another one that I have on the watch list yesterday, bullish reversal candle, uh, trying to break higher. What he needs, needs above $76. Breaks above 76, you watch for 78, and target is $80, first target, so keep it on your watch. Moderna uh, also calling for a possible move. Uh, yesterday it the lows at 65, so they are buying 65. What is the next trigger? 72 breaks above 71, 72, looking for a move all the way into 80 dollars. So keep Moderna uh, on your watch. Neo, another one that. Um, um, I have on the watch list. Yesterday saw some selling pressure, but they buy uh, the 21-day moving average. 
I said that the bull trigger needs above 20.3, still needs above 20.3 for the bull case. So uh, keeping uh, on watch for a possible break higher, but once again we need to see it. PDD, I had to the watch list. Why? Yesterday, bullish reversal candle from my support line around $77. So they buy $76, $77. Lots of re resistance ahead. So needs time to for the stock to rebuild. Bull case needs above 86.6. Breaks above 86, I will be extremely bullish on the stock. So keep it on your watch. Pins yesterday, uh, um, holding the 21 day moving average around 35.6. I'm staying bullish while above 35.6. Trigger needs above 38. Above 38, in my opinion, triggers a move all the way into 43. Uh, breaks below 35, I'll be extremely bearish and I'll be looking for a pullback all the way into 32.5 dollars area. So keep it on your watch. Breaks above 38. Looking for a move all the way into 43, breaks below 35, looking for a move into 32.5. So keep it on your watch. Another one, explosive move. I missed this one. Roku, I saw bullish options activity right out of the gate. Didn't pull the trigger. I cannot get any uh, uh, every single trade. I was on Fastly. Cannot get uh, every single trade. Roku, what a beautiful move. But for those that are following me for some time, though that uh, uh, I, I have been very bullish uh, on Roku, looking for a possible $200 target on the stock. So yesterday, it was an explosive move up. Um, eating the highs at 189.8 and um, what can I say <laughs> it's I'm speechless okay the stock uh, gone up more than 70% uh, it was a beautiful move what you do on these kind of moves you trim the health of the profits okay and keep raising the stops on the rest so uh, the honestly if, if I, I, I got into this trade yesterday um i i was already out okay i already locked my profits for sure so uh keep riding the momentum and um, um 200 dollars target who knows okay uh, who knows if it will get there or not um uh, stitch uh, keep seeing bullish options activity keep it on your watch breaks above 29.8 looking for a move all the way into 32 dollars area so also keep it on your watch uh, twitter i also had to the watch list coiling here above the 8 and 21 day moving average breaks above 41 dollars looking for a possible move up and another one that i had to the watch list whirlpool why yesterday bullish reversal candle uh, near the 50 day moving average recovering the 8 and 21 looking for a possible resume backup uh, what we need needs above 180 dollars in my opinion above 180 dollars look for new all-time highs above 185.9 so right now where we stand um, the market is bouncing from um, oversold conditions yesterday i got some uh, um, uh, call some um, uh, shares on the cubes at 261 near the lows um, uh, it's 260 dollars i got uh, 261 uh, after eating 260 dollars i got some shares at 261 and um, right now on the pre-market at 268 and uh, yesterday closed at 267 so it's gapping up this morning and playing for an oversold bounce but uh, we are not out of the woods we need uh, and the cubes need for the bull case and uh, needs above 276 we have lots of resistance ahead if you are long trim one third of the position after the market open raise the stops on the rest your profits are secured if you got with the shares with me yesterday 261 you keep raising your stops your profits are secured right now you are seven dollars plus on those shares so congratulations on the on the trade and keep riding the momentum while it lasts okay i will be looking to have tomorrow longs above 276 uh 277 it will be an area that uh, it will trigger a big short squeeze ahead right now we are still below the 8 and 21 day moving average and i'm dealing with this as an oversold bounce we need more the damage for the downside was big yesterday oversold bounce was a perfect catch okay so play against yesterday lows as your key support so uh, i hope um, that you enjoy this uh, this analysis uh, please give us a like please leave your comments below and uh, thanks for following thanks for watching and wish you all a great trading and one of the most important things of all be happy trading. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. See you.